What is happening everybody? Trey here and today at Reactions to the Classics I'm going to be reacting to a group I have never uh, heard of before but I'm glad uh, our, our patron M Michaela uh, brought this to me today. We got Los Campesinos uh, and their track We Are Beautiful, We Are Doomed which is off the record of the same name, their second album that came out in 2008 and uh, Michaela had this to say about this. They are a uh, a seven-piece UK band that's been together since 06 with six albums so far. It's off their second record of the same title, released in 2008, the same year as their first album. The song is so great lyrically, bitter and funny with a driving instrumentation. There you go, Michaela. Great uh, great description right there. And uh, looking a little bit more at this, um, it's interesting. They initially didn't consider this their second album, but an extended EP. But as time has gone on, they're like, yeah, this, this was our second album, man. It had uh, 10... Uh, new songs, none of which were released as singles, and came only 33 weeks after their debut, uh, which, especially nowadays, obviously uh, is is not that common. Um, you know, back in the the 60s, uh, you know, in uh, early 70s, you'd have bands, you know, pumping out albums left and right, uh, sometimes multiple in the same year. But uh, in the modern era, it doesn't happen too much. So that's a uh, kind of notable. It was recorded over an 11-day recording session in uh, Seattle during June 2008. So um, that's uh, that's just interesting to note there, man. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. Gonna have the lyrics pulled up. Gonna take in, enjoy the song, and then uh, give my thoughts afterwards. So Michaela, always appreciate you, my friend, for uh, for bringing this. And I also looked up what uh, Los Campa Campesinos, uh, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right, uh, means. And it means uh, the farmers, okay? So uh, and, and hopefully that translation was like, right, man. Maybe somebody who, uh, who speaks the language can, uh, tell, tell us all down below. But, uh, anyways, let's get to it. All right, I'm digging this. Great textures. I the LED display of a VCR recorder. You kiss my neck, I whisper in your ear. This is my dying flesh. You squint and you grimace. We both know your heart's not in it. With the glow of a thousand fireflies, the travel are John Sweet. They think the future's bright as halogen. We know it's pretty bleak, and I'm trying to be sexy, biting at the air that falls in front of me. I'm loving, man, this lead vocal band, the rapid fire delivery. Harboring these diminishing so-called vital 
face first. I had my heart mm. fast. Oof. What passion, man. What fire. Mm. We are beautiful. We are doomed. Los Campesinos, man. Quite impressed with my first, uh, you know, first foray into the group, man. Uh, wonderful selection by you, Michaela. And uh, to start started off just so rich, rich in the uh, the textures. Uh, with I mean, I guess that's that's what you get being a seven piece band, having so many uh, instruments uh, at uh, your disposal, so to speak, man. And then. Uh, uh, we just we went uh, we went right in here and um, I'm looking here uh, I just since I'm not too familiar with the band I believe Gareth is uh, is who we have on lead vocals here and just his um, like his his rapid fire delivery in particular was um, something that that stood out to me man it's something that was a uh, pretty pretty darn impressive and, and cool because he was able to to you know just kind of do that rapid fire and lyrically we had that mix of uh, of humor as uh, Michaela mentioned at the start with the uh, uh, just some kind of really heavy themes on on top of that man so we start in the first verse um you know they're they're kind of a uh, uh, getting getting familiar with each other, shall we say? And uh, um, but he knows that her heart isn't in this man. Um, and uh, he says that I know that the the future's pretty bleak here, and I am trying to be sexy, biting at the air that falls in front of me. Um, and as uh, as we go down uh, more and more, he he says, uh, and all the characters are strangers, and the pubs have different names. Uh, I tell a joke, I'd like to meet them, but they loathe me, and I hate them back. And he mentions your telegrams are more and more or less detailed by the day. So I don't know if we have like a kind of long distance relationship here or what's the case. Um, he says, absence make the heart uh, grow fonder. Fondness makes the absence longer. So that whole uh, concept of, uh, of uh, you know, I, I just thought that was very, uh, very witty line right there, man. Um, and just, uh, just the fact that, man, whenever we're, we're apart from each other, this this really, this really sucks, man. Um, he says, uh, then going on, um, you said he got his teeth fixed. I'm going to break them. Yet another kind of a twisted, humorous line here. I've got a heart on fire. He said he's got his sight set on getting to you. I've got a fist on fire. So obviously she's maybe talking, you know, to another guy here and, uh, and, and, and our, our lead man, he doesn't like that man. And whenever they, uh, link up again. He's gonna he's gonna have some people to beat up, <laughs> and uh, he says uh, here you feel terrified at the thought of being left behind, of losing everybody, the necessity of dying. Oh, we kid ourselves. There's future in the effing, but there is no effing future. Again, the play on words there, very clever. Um, and uh, then he kind of notes what uh, um, what uh, was a a. Uh, a true story apparently for the group wherever uh, he went got drunk and uh, threw up on a uh, football pitch and um and then you know we we end with that uh, the the phrase man of the the song and the record we are beautiful we are doomed just that that sense man the ups and downs of life the relationship man that's beautiful this or that but all that's going on in the world the fact that this relationship's going to end man we're at the end of the day we're doomed um so i thought that uh I just very impressed with the the rich sound that uh, Los Campesinos uh, brought, and um, again, I was just uh, impressed with the story that was being told. A little different twist on the long distance relationship. Oh, it's not going to be all all great at the end of the day, type of thing, man. I like to I like the realism here um, and just the authenticity of uh, of the lyricism. So, Michaela, you did a great job choosing this, man. Let me know, y'all, what other songs from them I should check out and be sure to give Michaela some love as well for suggesting this if you'd like to uh, suggest a tune for me to react to man you can check out the patreon page which will be linked below and uh be sure to hit that big red subscribe button as well y'all uh, making that uh making that push to 15k man and uh appreciate y'all hope you're having a great day and until next time I will see you